In today's video, I want to share you guys a cool Google Docs feature called Building Blocks and Smart Chips, where you can actually use these features to speed up your workflow as well as increase productivity when you're using Google Docs, whether it's by yourself or with a team. So without further ado, let's just jump right in and let me just explain to you guys all these new features that Google Docs has implemented. So here I am, I am on a new Google Docs document and as you can see here, they already kind of presented me the three new different buttons here on the document, right? You got meeting notes, we got email draft, and we also got more, right? What you can do is you can actually click on the email draft building block here. And once you click it, you're actually able to kind of integrate it with Gmail. So you can write down who you're gonna send it to, your carbon copy, your blind carbon copy subject, and as well as, of course, the email message. Now you can actually do this with your friends as well and your group members, team members, whoever it is. And you guys can actually work on this email together, right? You can even write down the two. You can even see who you want to add. I could even add myself if I want to, or I could add other people. But for example, I could do like, you know, test at test.com, right? And these are going to be in the recipients list. So you can go ahead and do the same thing with the carbon copy, blind carbon copy, and whoever it may be, right? And once you're done, you could actually hit this button that says preview in Gmail. And guess what it does? It actually takes you to your Gmail. It will show you the email that you have just created from Google Docs. And crazy enough, you can actually just hit send and it will actually send to your desired recipient. Now, how do I get the building blocks back, right? You can always go to insert here on the top and you could go down all the way here to building blocks. And now you can see the different building blocks that they have available. You could, for example, have a product roadmap. So you could have different projects. You could change your status here, the files, the notes. And again, this is like, pretty effortless because you could just put in as many building blocks as you want in this document. I'm going to insert another one here. I'm just going to create a, for example, a review tracker. And you can see here it's kind of the same thing where it's like reviewer status notes. But again, it's very, very useful because you don't have to keep doing this over and over again. Right now, moving on from building blocks, I want to talk about smart chips real quick. Right? So what are smart chips? Smart chips are essentially little elements in your Google docs where people could actually interact with it instead of it just being a static text. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to try to insert a smart chip, which is going to be like a calendar or a date smart chip. So anybody is just so anybody's able to click it and they're able to just instantly integrate it with their Google calendar. So what I'm going to hit is I'm going to hit insert here and go down all the way to smart chips. and I'm going to hit date. So what this will do is that it will kind of pull up a calendar. And if you want to, let's just say, you know, we want to set up a meeting on November 10th, right? On the Google Docs, we want everybody to go to consensus like, hey, let's meet on November 10th. And we're going to meet at around, you know, maybe um, 3 p.m. is a good time to meet, right? So I'm going to hit OK. And guess what happens? It just created a smart chip that um, says that November 10, 2023, 3 p.m. So what you can do is you can say maybe next meeting, November 10, 2023, 3 p.m. And once you have the smart chip right here, all you have to do is just click book meeting, right? And once you hit book meeting, it's going to take you to your Google Calendar where it will actually put down all that time for you. You just got to type in what the meeting is, perhaps. Or, you know, if you have an actual title to your document, it will say that title of the document here in your calendar event. Another smart chip I want to mention is people as well. So when you hit people here, you're able to get a list of people usually in your contacts. I'm using a dummy email right now. So it's just me and myself and I, but you can have the collaborators of this document, you know, different people in your contacts. And once you click it, you're actually able to hover over and take a look at their email, take a look at their profile photo and essentially their Google account. And you're able to just you know, hit the email button if you want. You're able to just, you know, schedule an event with them, open a detailed view of their, you know, of their account. So this smart chip definitely comes in clutch if you want to interact with other people in a really, really fast and efficient way from your Google Doc. Now, the last smart chip that I want to highlight here is going to be the place smart chip. And obviously this is going to be taken from Google Maps itself because, you know, obviously the Google ecosystem works kind of around each other. So let's just say I want to talk about, I don't know, Times Square, New York, right? So if I click on Times Square in New York here, I'm able to click this, right? It's actually able to pull up a Google Maps kind of plug in here on my document, which is kind of crazy, honestly. And you're able to click this Times Square right here. And once you have this smart chip here, again, you're able to kind of just look at this um, in your Google Doc itself. You don't have to leave Google Docs. You don't have to open Google Maps separately, but rather everybody's able to just view this preview, right? You, you, you're able to click over here and guess what? It actually opens up this Google Maps thing on the right, which is again, very useful, very nifty. You're able to look at reviews and just write on your Google document, right? It's super easy, super nice. And yeah, and for example, this would come in useful if you wanna say like, let's meet at this restaurant, for example, right? And I'm just gonna type in a random restaurant here. I'm just gonna type in McDonald's. So I'm gonna just insert smart chips, place and I'm going to type in McDonald's, right? So we're going to put in a McDonald's, I don't know, somewhere in Texas, for example, right? 
Boom, per perfect. We're gonna meet at McDonald's in Fort Worth, Texas, right? So I'm gonna click this and everybody's able to see this location. So everybody's able to preview this. They're able to see the reviews here if they want to, you know, kind of just look at the, how many stars it is, the hours. And it's just a nice little panel here on the side that doesn't really interrupt the workflow of your document, but rather is a nice addition to, you know, any type of location that you want. I wanna show you guys a quick little shortcut that I've been, you know, kind of skipping out on this whole time. And that is the add button. Now, if you guys don't know, the add button will literally add you building blocks or smart chips. And you can always pull up the add button anytime in your Google document. So again, it pulls up people, it pulls up different smart chips like date or drop down, and it pulls up the building blocks in which you can expand to and just have different building blocks here that you can add to your document. Now there's also different couple things. There's also diff now there's also different things that you can do with the building blocks, such as like add today and they'll give you today's date or at, I don't know, McDonald's, uh, Texas, right? And I'll give you that McDonald's in Texas. So the at symbol here in Google Docs has actually became more powerful because you're able to you know, implement smart chips, building blocks, people, and a lot of things with this at symbol. Now, last but not least, the one thing that I wanna add again to this Google Doc feature that they just kind of somewhat implemented is the drop down menu. So what you wanna do is you could actually go to insert you could go to drop down and you're actually able to make a drop down menu for yourself and you could just make your own drop down you could use these um you know preset drop downs like in, in progress on the review proof or you could just do a new drop down right so for example you want to change the template name to i don't know like let's just say uh, food options right you could change the different drop downs like red or brown or green and you could do for example breakfast and we have lunch here dinner and perhaps dessert so now we have all these four different food options and now when we save it you're actually able to create your own drop down and this is great because anybody else in the document is able to interact with it so i don't know what is the most important meal of the day right and everybody's able to change it so you could pick breakfast you could pick lunch for me my most important meal of the day is going to be dessert obviously right because i'm such a sweet tooth so dessert it is but um you guys get the point you're actually able to change this up whenever you want to so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and this wonderful feature that google doc has natively implemented in their own application if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below and i'll see you guys all in the next video